The West London Islamic Centre is really from the people or for the people. It's a dedicated place where Muslims pray, but it's also a place where Muslims convene and enjoy other aspects of community life. I just love the composition of this place. It reflects the Ummah in the most unbelievable way. The West London Islamic Centre is one of those type of places. It's a place you can go if you need to get something off your chest. From the Imams to the committee members to even the general people that come and go, there's always someone there. I've never gone to this place that there's not somebody there who's got a beautiful smile, who's got an open heart, uh, open ears, open mind, and it's just a wonderful place to be. There are mosques and there are mosques. This one is a unique one because this one has got young people involved. This one has been pioneering projects and programs when others haven't even thought of them. We have a large number now of uh, youth coming here, the adults, men and women. The reason for that, I think, is the successful program which is on offer at the West London Islamic Centre here. This mosque has been providing fantastic service to the community, especially when it comes to education, welfare, as well as many other community activities. There is a lot of youth who are attracted to the mosque. Um, they attend boxing classes. Um, also, there's some youth who play football on a Sunday in uh, Lammas Park. We have two Dow tables, one in Greenford, one in Ealing. And the idea here is to promote the correct message of Islam. And that is, I think, what the West London Islamic Centre is doing absolutely right. The whole thing evolved from the efforts of four or five key people, which were still with us today. And it's quite inspiring when you listen to that story. I'll tell you something. I was there when we had got no money at all. We had no money. We, first mosque we bought it for seventy-five thousand pounds. Second one hundred ninety thousand pounds. Third one two hundred ninety-six. Allah provided this. You got to will. I remember this mosque broadcasting radio programs in the early nineties when nobody else used to do. This mosque has got a gym and has had a gym for the last ten years. This mosque has been doing Juma khutbah in English for at least twenty years. Each stage of development occurred because the congregation outgrew its facilities. So here we are again now, in 2010, with our congregation outgrowing its facilities. And we have to do what they did, and take this centre to the next level. Building a mosque is not only concrete and the bricks. Building a mosque means administration, means imam, means manhaj, means the curricula, means everything that can create a balanced personality. The current facility is not able to accommodate the demand in the community, which means that a lot of people who want to come to this centre are not able to. After many years of uh, holding events there, for me to hear now that they're actually expanding, that they're going to build something much bigger, to give exactly what they always gave, but at a far, far higher quality, as well as a higher quantity, I think that's fantastic. In the new mosque, we will have a public restaurant, a public cafe, public library and a public bookshop. So these are facilities which we want to provide not just for Muslims as well, but for the community. Once the new facility is up and running, uh, we'll have a full running educational department which has all the resources that you would expect in a state maintained school. I've seen a picture of what they're going to build and when I saw it I had to take a deep breath. It was just, it was breathtaking. It's beautiful what they're planning to do. We are making house of Allah. We need the help. We need the help very, very badly. I think it's, uh, it is imperative on all of us to support this huge effort for the benefit, inshallah, of the future generation. Building a mosque will be guaranteeing for you a palace in the heavens, as Rasulullah said. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man bana lillahi masjidan, Whoever builds a mosque for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means out of sincerity Allah will build for him a palace, a house in paradise. The general households, the average households who think it's kind of tough financially these days, it's not really. For the believer, there's no recession. I know the project I know the administration, I pray there sometimes, and I'm happy to say 
This is one of the best charity projects that any Muslim in the West or in the East should contribute to. When you go, when time is up, this is something you're going to be glad you did. And this is something you're going to think, oh, thank God I did that. This is one of those centers that's going to carry on. You know, sometimes you give and you're just not sure. Is this going to carry on? This is one of those places that just carries on and on. So if you are rich and if you've got lots of money, give plenty. If you've got small amounts, still give. I think when it comes to uh, a, a universal place where everyone really can appreciate each other's culture and each other's personalities, as a society, as a community, West London Islamic Centre is it. And I really, really pray that Allah Azawajal gives them that success they're seeking. I, mean. I think that excites me is the fact that this Islamic Centre, the West London Islamic Centre, is going to be for the whole community.